Good Sunday afternoon, Pine Belt. I hope your weekend has been a pleasant one. It's definitely been the perfect opportunity to spend some time outside, that's for sure. Notice we've got some hazy skies here over Laurel Ford, of course in Laurel. Temperatures in the 70s there, but by and large it's sunny, it's clear, aside from some of those prescribed burns that we saw yesterday, keep things hazy for some of us. Others may be a little clearer across the area, maybe if you don't have as much haze or you weren't as close to some of those prescribed burns, but similar story here at South Central Medical. Regional, regional Center, you notice that slight southerly breeze at around 9 miles an hour. It's keeping things nice, pleasant, and comfortable. You'll enjoy being outside, but those temperatures will surely fall during the nighttime. More on that later. So notice here we're still fairly dry. Uh, dew points are running quite low, especially since it is February. And I know that there is that southerly wind and that's j slowly carrying some of that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and the coast inward. And you'll notice that through the next few days, the humidity will start to build back as we eventually see our rain chances as well. So current dew points once again are nice and low across the area. And honestly, that'll keep things nice pleasant and comfortable. Notice here on the Almanac, notice we're about on par for where we should be, although we're a bit warm to say the least. Uh, and and 20, uh, 21 degrees was our record low there in 1947. But notice there our record high for today was 85. And if we look at the next few days before our rain chances return, we will see some 80s for the next few days in the near term. So that's something to keep in mind there that we may see some near record warmth. Of course, if we take a look at the almanac as well, too, notice that we're actually a little ahead for where we should be for rainfall. So that's always a good sign, considering how last year was just so dry. So over the next five hours, that decrease in temperatures, there you go. As we make your way through the night, 60s turn into 50s, and slowly fall to around maybe that 50 degree mark by the time sunrise hits. So, in time for your morning commute, notice that things will be mostly clear, but slowly and surely those clouds will make a return and you'll see less clear skies as you progress into next work week. So your morning commute's looking nice with 50s, just make sure to bring a light jacket if you need it. But keep in mind, temperatures will rebound sharply by the time we hit uh, Monday evening. Things will be warm, you won't even have to worry about that. So we'll see, uh, some of us may even be in the 80s, but we'll basically be messing around with that 80 degree mark there in time for the afternoon after lunchtime and that evening commute on Monday. Notice here we've still got that southerly breeze and it'll be a little stronger on Monday than today so of course that southerly component is going to bring that humidity to us once again. It'll be quite pleasant although as that humidity rises notice it won't be as pleasant as say what today was just since it was so dry. Notice your rain chances here were free and clear for the most part on Monday and Tuesday, but there you go, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, our rain chances are returning. So some of the fine tuning on the details and the timing as what to expect, that's still being worked out, but just expect the potential for rain to be more likely in the second half of the week. So for tomorrow morning, notice you got uh, 40s and 50s for many of us across the Pine Belt. I'm seeing 50 in Collins, 48 in Ellisville, and 48 in Petal. So that's just kind of the name of the game there, but temperatures will rise to around that 80 degree mark like I was talking about. See that 80 in Petal there, 80 in Seminary, and 78 in McGee. Similar story for Marion County. That was our warm spot yesterday, and it seems to be a warm spot once again at 81 degrees. Notice here for low temperatures on Tuesday morning, it's going to be warmer with 60s across the board. It'll be quite pleasant. So of course those temperatures are going to rebound once again into the 80s in time for Tuesday. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast. Notice those rain chances are going to come back eventually, but enjoy the near record warmth while it lasts with lows in the 40s and the 50s and those daytime highs falling into the 60s.